Welcome back to another episode of Misplaced Garage. <laughs> Today I'm going to be reviewing my Mr. Heater Propane, I think it's a 30,000 BTU heater. I know this isn't my traditional kind of video about cars and stuff, but this was a major game changer for me in the automotive world, just because working on cars in the winter was so miserable. Now I am not even having an issue with it being cold. Hooking this thing up, I bought a 90 degree brass elbow for this. And I also bought the Mr. Heater like temporary uh, hose because this is supposed to be temporary. So if you plan on using it for long term, you probably shouldn't. I'll probably be buying one every year until I get a hardline system or if I still have this by then, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I got a, uh, it's run to a 20 pound propane tank outside with a regulator on it. It's a very simple setup. I mean, all you have to do is, this dial is kind of by temperature, sort of. For me in my garage, it basically is like, one, it'll shut off once the garage reaches about 50 degrees, two, it'll shut off about 60 degrees, and onward, I haven't ever used five, four, or three, so I have, I have no idea how well those work, but nonetheless, it warms up this whole garage, no problem. And if you're wondering, no, propane burning really isn't indoor safe. Now this does use ceramic burners, so it, it's sort of indoor safe. It's got an auto low oxygen shut off, so that makes me happy about this unit. A lot of them didn't have that, so I absolutely wanted to have that. And I also have a carbon monoxide detector over here and I keep that thing with full batteries at all times. I mean, it does freeze out here, so the batteries die pretty quickly, but nonetheless, having two sets of ways to keep you from killing yourself because carbon monoxide is no joke. Don't mess around with that. Don't even, I wouldn't use anything that doesn't have an auto shut off inside of the building. And if you're wondering if it gets cold where I live, this was water. Now it is ice, so that just proves to you that it is very cold outside. <laughs> I will note that it is about 32 degrees in here right now, and I will check back in again in like 15 to 30 minutes, so it's 341 right now. I will double check that in 20 or so minutes, and let you know what temperature it's at after that. If you notice over here, I have a fan going. That's because the heat just kind of rises. So if you don't blow it around the whole space that you have, then it doesn't really do much because the heat kind of just goes up and it doesn't, it'll warm the whole thing up. It'll just take much longer. So why not just rotate the heat around the garage? If you're wondering how hot this thing actually gets, now I don't know how accurate this Harbor Freight heat gun is, but It'll tell you it's pretty dang hot. That's right around 880 degrees, which is extremely hot. I did turn on this tiny little space heater over here for reference. This is a 1500 watt heater. And I will show you how hot it is. So that's about 160. This, this little heater would never heat up this space. That little heater is good for indoors in environments that are well insulated, being inside your house, that'll warm up your house no problem. Not out here though. So it's been about 20 or so minutes, probably one more minute and it'll be 20 minutes on the dot. But we're looking at right around 38 to 39 degrees. So that's just telling you that, I don't know what it was before, I think it was 32 degrees. It's gone up, what? at like six degrees in 20 minutes. I think that is pretty impressive in my opinion. And if you're thinking it's just because it's blowing the heat right on it, this whole shelf is in the way of that. So it can't exactly do that. But nonetheless, it is still six degrees warmer in the general area of this garage. And I think that is 
insanely impressive. This garage is about 350, give or take a little bit of square footage area of just this square, not including the roof. I would assume that would probably get it to about 400 square feet. And you know, there's, there's a lot of space up there, a lot of non-insulated space. I've been slowly going through and adding r -Tech above the rafters. And you can tell that my garage isn't that well insulated. It's probably got three, maybe four R value. So it's not very much, but it's better than nothing. It does hold the heat in, and that is all that really counts. And I am just extremely pleased with this because there's no more punching metal with your fist. Even with a glove on, your whole hand like freezes up and hurts a lot. There's no more of that. Like I don't, I don't have that problem anymore. Anyways, this is my review of the 30 thousand BTU Mr. Heater propane wall heater or whatever you want to call it and I would say it is a must buy if you live in a cold area and you wrench on stuff in your garage or whatever it is and you just want to have a warmer place to work this thing will more than likely be able to handle if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one